Uh, thank you, Lars Concola. And first of all, I'd like to thank um, Matty McGrath for giving me his time to talk on this today, and Deputy Collins. And also to thank uh, Deputy Michael McNamara for bringing this uh, timely motion. Um, Minister, people have said here today that this is not a fight between Dublin Airport and the rest of the airports. It is. 33 million came through Dublin Airport in pre COVID 19. 1.8 million through Shannon, 2.3 through Cork, and then you have Knock, Galway um, as well, and Kerry. Percentages, dispersion of traffic is the only way that we're going to make our airport sustainable. 60,000 people are depending on Cork or on uh, Shannon Airport, 15,000 directly, 45,000 indirectly. Dispersion of traffic. If Dublin Airport wants to expand, their percentage of their um, amount of people coming into Dublin Airport has to be dispersed into the other airports. And then we won't have to be propping up other airports year on, year out, that they're not sustainable. Why? Because everything has been shoved in to Dublin. Your green agenda, it's on the programme for government. And you're poisoning the airways of Dublin. 33 million coming through Dublin Airport, and you're poisoning the airways. All the traffic coming up. Break it up. How many people that fly into Dublin are coming down to Limerick, to Clare, to, um, out into Kerry for their holidays? How many people are coming through that airport and you're putting, you're all on about environment, we all have a green agenda, but you're closing down the other airports and you're poisoning your own people in Dublin. And the Greens are responsible now for this so you can change it. Dispersion of traffic out into the other airports. So if, if Dublin Airport wants to be at 30 million, and at the moment there's 37 million coming in pre-COVID, 10% or 20% of that should be dispersed to all the other airports, which will bring Shannon to 3.5 million, will bring Cork to 3.5 million, and it will bring all the other airports to sustainable, and they will all be sustainable. Stop poisoning the people's airways in Dublin, putting all the traffic into Dublin, and also, it will free up our motorways. You can't get into Dublin, you can't get out of Dublin. Um, sorry, Deputy um, Michael Healy Ray is not here, so I'm going oh, to share the rest yeah, of the time with, off with, go, Deputy. With, with Deputy Healy Ray. Just four minutes left, Danny, you're all right. Um, sorry, but this is what I'm talking about. Um, we have a huge problem here in, in Shannon, and ye can fix it by putting in a percentage on the likes of Dublin Airport and tell them you can't expand unless 20% of the traffic goes to the other airports and then all our airports are sustainable. That's how you do it. And why? Because if you look at the independents, what have they got that the government haven't got? We have legal, we have the teachers, we have all of that that, that the government have. But we have self-employed people that know how to run business. So you might listen to the independent group and we might be able to teach you something on how to make all businesses sustainable in Ireland. Thank you.